Have you ever owned a Crossman Vigilante or a 1077 rifle and bought yourself a box of HNN 177 Hornet pellets thinking that they would be just so cool? You then went to load them into your gun just to realize that they don't fit. You clearly find out that these pellets are literally millimeters too long for the turning magazines and that guns like these and these pellets right here have always been and always will be incompatible. Not so much the Vigilante and we'll see that in a minute but definitely the Crossman 1077 and other rotatory magazine CO2 air guns. Well ladies and gentlemen all that recently changed when H&N released the Hornet pistol also known as Hornet shorts and these my friends fit perfectly. And a big thank you to my viewer Tax G Music for telling me about these in a recent comment. The Hornet's pistol weigh half a gram or 7.7 .7 grain and let's go outside and test them out. And yes indeed, today is a cold day here in Miami. Now for the very first time on this channel, we're going to be shooting at this fake skin tissue patch, uh, which is made for syringe practice. Um, look at it, it is made of two layers of silicone with this spongy stuff in the middle, which we're gonna fill in with the red liquid. I don't know how realistic this is, but it'll be interesting to see our Hornet pistols and what they're gonna do to it. All right, let's start with our Crossman Vigilante because unlike the 1077, and other air guns like the AG-92. Uh, the Crossman Vigilante actually does fit and shoot the, the regular Hornets. Um, now, as you see, they are borderline uh, with, the, with the edge of the magazine. So if you have them completely straight and well fit in, then they will shoot. However, for example, if you're holding your gun in a holster pointing down, the pellets will, uh, you know, could kind of lower down, fall down a little bit, and as you see, as you see, they'll start sticking out, and that will indeed block it, block the magazine from rotating. So again, it's it, they will shoot, but <laughs> it is not a guarantee. See how that how non-smooth that is. Um, so we're going to try and shoot the vigilante with both. Uh, pellets, the, the pistol, and the regular ones. Obviously, these are the highlight of the video, so we're gonna start with the Hornet pistols. All right, Crossman Vigilante versus Nurse Medical Pad. All right, I don't know if you can see, but we got a ton of rounds in here. So they all did go in. And they all seem to have come out very tiny holes. I didn't see much movement <laughs> in the slow-mo. I need to check better, but... Um, yeah, doesn't seem there's any pellets stuck in here. So the pellets definitely all went through. Sponge and silicone. Through like butter. 
Let's move on to the next one. All right, folks, so up next is our accuracy test and with our Crossman Vigilante, and this is where I'm going to be shooting both pellets, um, both the regular and the pistol, to kind of see their accuracy from 30 feet away, uh, and also let's see how smooth the, uh, the regular will shoot, so we can have a, a good close-up look at uh, the difference uh, between the two pellets and how they work uh, in the rotating magazine. So I'll be shooting the Hornet pistols uh, aiming up here and then we'll switch to the regular Hornets which I'll be aiming down here. So from 30 feet, these were the new Hornet pistols, um, entirely using the sights of the gun. From 30 feet away, as you see, I uh, managed to miss completely the target uh, way to the left. And we have about a group that is several inches wide if we discount this very low one here. Um, let's see how they did on full penetration. Absolutely nothing on this very light wood uh, closet door. No complete penetration. While the regular, um, there was no problem shooting these regular Hornets. They shot fine through the, through the gun. So they seem to be a bit more accurate. It's also true that after I noticed that I shot too much to the left, uh, on this first target, I, uh, I, I kind of corrected myself and so it was, you know, this is post-correction so it was easier for me to hit the center of the target. Um, so definitely much better accuracy with the regular ones and on complete penetration, again, nothing with the Vigilante. And now on to the 1077 where these things are absolutely revolutionary because as you saw, with the regular Hornets, the magazines won't even fit in the clip. So let's test the accuracy on these things. And if you thought that that fake skin pad was creepy, just wait to see what I come up with next. And look at that, huh? Much better than the Vigilante. Look at the accuracy. I just love the 1077. And these Hornets pistols really did not let down either. Let's see how we did on 
penetration. Oh, look at that. We have gotten complete penetration. More on the upper, the first 12 rounds. So as you saw, I shot two, uh, two magazines, so 12 and 12. The first 12 went all across, but the other ones, the second mag looks like only two tried. I don't know if they even made it all the way through. Nevertheless, very impressive. So, up next, folks. Come on, dude. We're making a video here. You gotta look more respectable. There we go. Here, put some shades on. All right. So, so I wasn't too satisfied with the visuals and the general test we did with the silicon pad here. So we're gonna get a bit more creative this time and I brought out Mr. Fiberglass Mannequin here who is pretty much impenetrable. Obviously, very much impenetrable when we're talking about CO2 powered air guns. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this very light plastic, your average t-shirt shop kind of mannequin, very light plastic over our fiberglass mannequin. And then we are going to stick our silicone fake skin pad onto our plastic mannequin. And voila. And finally, we'll put on a cotton t-shirt over it. And this way, we will see how our Hornet pistols will do going through the pad, into the hard plastic, and finally into the fiberglass, different materials. Let's see what kind of damage we will get from about 30 feet. All right, let's go see. Looks like we centered in pretty good. Let's have a look under all these layers. Let's see, let's see. Okay, some black from the cotton of the shirt. And look at that. We went right through the plastic here. So through the silicone, the sponge, and through the plastic. And just out of curiosity, let's see if we did anything to the fiberglass as well. Okay. Well, look at that. We also made some holes in the fiberglass. So these right here, my friends, are all Hornet pistol. Amazing. Wow. Again, only PCP shot ammo went into this thing. Uh, but again, just to recap, look at the damage we did through, through this and the plastic again. Great stuff. All right, folks, time to check out the speed on these things with our Vigilante. And as always, we'll be measuring the speed with this chronograph in feet per second. All right, most of the shots in the 400s feet per second. Nice little grouping, but nothing 
came out of the back of this two and a half gallon plastic recycled water jug. Let's check out the speed of the Hornet pistols from our Crossman 1077. All right, well, a good 100 plus feet per second compared to the Vigilante. Good entry, nice little group. And we have a little bit of poking, not necessarily full penetration. In fact, I don't think any pellet actually came out, but they did go poke the other side, making little holes. Well, folks, from the smallest pellet caliber CO2 powered guns, to one of the most powerful big bore PCP pistols. Our next video is going to be all about the very new, very powerful, very awesome Bintec S45. This thing is a semi-automatic 45 caliber PCP pistol slash rifle uh, it was sent to us by airgun tactical and i just cannot wait to test this thing so stay tuned stay subscribed next week the bintech s45